Let's start out by the fact that first, I mean, I think some people are really curious to know what you're doing and where you are. So Kirk, tell people where you are. Well, hello from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, you know, it's my home state and I am co-anchoring our morning show here and I also co-host a um, lifestyle show that's on at 9 a.m. And then once in a while, I also do our noon newscast. So you're busy. And yeah. um, people miss you. Miss you in Denver oh. um, and still know you. Everybody asks me about you all the time. And sometimes, oh. well, as soon as they ask me about you, they ask me about Joey. Yeah. So um, you're going to share something with our viewers, and we're going to talk about a lot there. But uh, tell us about Joey. Well, you know, it's been, um, uh, I'm not going to lie, it's been a very difficult couple of days. So, um, and it's going to be a little difficult to talk about because, uh, you know, 12 and a half years of caring for that little scamp every single day. Um, foot, you know, paw print on my heart. And uh, for, you know, for people who may not remember the story, it was just very um, strange how it all happened. You know, Kimmy, you may remember I was called in to, uh, to anchor on a Saturday morning with um, Sean Patrick at the time. And usually, and, and Kimmy, you know this, you know, usually our schedules are, are, are scheduled out, you know, weeks in advance. And, mm -hmm. and I don't remember what happened this particular time, but it was kind of a last minute thing. And they needed me to anchor on a Saturday morning, I think because Martin, our maintenance guy, wasn't available, so they asked me or something, you know. And anyway, so it was just, it was a last minute thing. So I'm, I'm grumpy, um, it's early, and, and I had, you know, I had had a rough year. You know, I'd, li I'd lost my mom, and I lost my, my, my best friend from junior high. Um, in, in the year before, and I'd given some thought to a pet, but you may recall the disastrous experiment with Cagney and Lacey, the goldfish. Remember that? That didn't end well. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that did not end well. I don't, do you remember that? I do. Um, I do. And so, okay. he, so, so here it is a Saturday morning, and it's time for a, a segment with the Larimer County Humane Society, and Sean is going to do the segment, and they are promoting their Top Hat and Tails event that is coming up like in a month. And this woman walks in with this just precious scamp, raggedy, scamping looking cocker spaniel pup. And they're doing the segment and I was just transfixed. And it was Joey. And I just kept staring at him throughout the entire segment. They go to break. I get up during the commercial. I go to the woman and I said, I can't explain this. I said, but I, I, want, I want him. I want to take him. I want to take him home. And she says, well, you're going to have to wait a month because he's the star of our show. Um, so if you're serious, you know, come back in a month, put down your deposit, and then we'll talk. So I had 30 days for everyone in the world to try and talk me out of this. Um, you know, everyone at the station thought I was crazy because you remember I, I was not the most responsible Responsibility guy. You know, didn't had, just come with you. <laughs> No, you remember no. I, I. And you even I, drove I, I to Larimer I, County. That's the killer. <laughs> you drove that remember, far. I, I, <laughs> I know. I had never been there. But you remember, I used to. Have, I had three weeks worth of laundry under my desk. You remember that? I had. Yes. I didn't There's do still dishes. Ties I moved. In drawers somewhere around here. Your ties. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure. <laughs> so 30 days. It comes to me 30 days. I I drove up there. I, I he haunted me. His face. Oh. I drove up there and um, paid my deposit. It was the night of the event, and they're like, okay, we'll come back tomorrow to get him, because he's still the star of the show tonight. I'm like, okay, so I drove back to Denver. Then Sunday morning, drove up there, picked him up, was so unprepared. I, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't have a towel, I didn't have a crate, I didn't have a box, I just went, hi. Put him in my passenger seat, and I was driving this little tiny car. I don't know if you remember my little tiny car. It was a stick shift. I... It, was, it was very small. So we hop on I-25, and he is like this at the window, the passenger window, like this. We are not on the road maybe six minutes. He's at the passenger window. I'm driving my stick shift, you know. And he, as anxious 
five month old puppies will occasionally do has a little accident. Yeah. But it's a but it's an accident that is spewing <laughs> everywhere in the car. I'll, that's all I'll say. But I am in a panic going, whoa, my gosh, I'm trying to downshift and you know, semis are roaring past me and I'm like, oh, and so then he gets upset and nervous and he's now spinning around. So there's just like this whirlpool going on and then he starts to hop on me and I'm trying to pull over on the side of I-25 and I'm like, so by the time I actually pulled over, we were both covered. It was green, by the way, oh. just saying. Yeah, he was very upset. I don't know what they were feeding in there. Um, and all I have in the car is one of those McDonald's napkins. <laughs> and you know the thread count on those, right? <laughs> so I'm trying to clean him up. I'm trying to clean myself up. I, and I look in the rearview mirror going, you know, no. I could just turn around. No, yeah. And I didn't. And I looked at him and I said, you have found your forever home. And, sorry, <laughs> I'll get through this. And, um... For 12 and a half years, we uh, made it work. You know, I, we lived in you know, nine different apartments and I have now lived in two states and three jobs later. And he just, um, like you know, any kind of relationship in the beginning, it was awkward and clumsy getting to know each other. And, but he profoundly changed my life. And I know if you're not a pet owner, it sounds like I'm just completely nuts. But, um, oh, the adventures we had. And you talk about unconditional love and the fact that Joey found you. Because when we joke about this, Kirk, sometimes, like we've all been, and believe me, we're all wreck most of the time. We just fake it. Mm -hmm. um, but Joey really got, I don't know, jo Joey just changed you. He, you know, he, I learned compassion. I learned selflessness. I learned uh, patience. Um, I learned to be a better human. I learned um, how to get tough stains on a beige carpet. I mean, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> and not leave things around. I know and not leave things leave, around. Like glasses everywhere, Joey. I know. Munched on them. And we just, we just, we just got each other. And I know that's so hard. And and he just, he, I guess our, I'm so touched that our our adventure caught the imagination of so many people there in Colorado and people really rooted us on and followed us all these years and and I've got to say I, I have been so touched so touched um, ever since I kind of announced he was he was ill right before Thanksgiving up until this past weekend when he crossed over the Rainbow Bridge I have been just so touched with the outpouring of love and support from everyone in Colorado. You have no idea, and I cannot, cannot thank you enough. It's been amazing. Well, we are all collectively sending you a huge hug, and um, we are so glad you shared that. And I think one of the things that hopefully everyone takes from this is adopt a shelter pet, Kirk. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and, and, and I, I remember, you know, Pet Line 9 and Pet Check and the Furry Scurry and, and I did not rescue Joey. Joey rescued me. And I will forever be grateful. And people have asked me, well, are you going to ever do it again? And just this morning, just this morning, and I'm not going to lie, the last several days have been a fog a fog of grief. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I'm back to work. It, it, I'm, my, my station here has been incredibly supportive. But just today, a friend of mine sent me um, a message, and I'm just going to read it real quick. It says, grief never ends, but it changes. It is a passage, not a place to stay. Grief is not a sign of weakness, nor a lack of faith. It is the price of love. And it is a price I will pay again. I love you. Talk to you soon. I love you so much, Kimmy. I love you. I miss you. Thank okay. you so much.